What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to add a record to the database with our TreeBase app with Kinter and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to work on adding a record to the database. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books. One time fee just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so moving right along in our tree base app, now we want to work on this add record button. So we want to be able to type in a new record, click the button, have it add it to the database, and then update this uh, tree view thing accordingly. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. So head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code for this video in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the other Kinter playlist videos. There's almost 200 videos there now. So if you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check that out now. Okay, so we've got a treebase.py file. And if we come down here to the very bottom where we have all of our buttons, you see this um, add record button doesn't actually have a command. So we haven't done anything with this just yet. So we can give this a command and let's set that equal to add underscore record or you know call it whatever you want, but we're gonna be adding a record to the database. So we'll just call that add record. Okay, so let's come up here to our functions and here's the update record function. So let's come down below it and let's go add a new record to database. And let's define this guy add record. And that looks good. Now let's come up here. And remember, anytime we're dealing with the database, first, we have to sort of connect to the database, create a cursor, and then afterwards, commit the change and close. So I'm just going to copy all of this stuff from let's see, our update record function. Now let's come down here and sort of paste this stuff in. So again, we want to connect to our tree underscore CRM database, we want to create a cursor. And here, this is the actual SQL command, this is going to be Quite a bit different. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete all of this, we still want to commit our changes and close our connection. But let's say, uh, add new record. And so let's write some SQL. So we want to see dot execute, almost always want to do that seems like, and here instead of doing this all on multiple lines, let's do it slightly differently. Let's insert into and what do we want to insert into our customers table. We want to insert the values of and let's create a little tuple here. And here I'm just going to go first, last ID. And now normally we're using the row ID, the primary key. But if remember, when we first created this database, I added an ID column. So even though we're not actually using that ID column anymore, we still have to reference it and, and sort of add something in there because it's looking for it. Now, normally, if I was if I was doing this fresh from the start, I wouldn't have added an ID. And I've talked about this in the last couple of videos, but we've still got it in there. So we still have to reference it. So first last ID, we also want address, we want city, we want state, and we want zip code. Okay, so after that, let's put a comma. And now we need these are just placeholders, right, we need to sort of define those placeholders. And we do it like this. Let me just sort of clean that up. And inside of here, let's see, is there something we can copy and paste? Yeah, we can just copy these guys right here. Alrighty, so let's come down here, we need to modify these a little bit. So after this, we need one for ID. So let's put that in there. And that's going to be ID underscore entry dot get. And we don't want this OID thing. Now, uh, that looks right. So there should be seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I think that's it. So just to recap, what we're doing here is we're inserting into our customers table, these placeholder values, what values are those, those are just each of these entry boxes that will have filled out. Right. So let's go ahead and save this and run it. See if that worked. Let's go Python treebase.py. And by those boxes, I mean these things right here. Right. So let's come down here. Tina Elder's the last one. Let's call this Tester McTesterson. 
and it's given them ID of 32, although we could put anything because we're not actually using that. And let's say 12 tester street and tester town, Nevada, <laughs> I don't know, 89137. And let's add a record here. Now, nothing seems to have happened. We're gonna wanna delete these after we click this button. Uh, and it hasn't shown up here. But if we close this, and let's run this again, and let's scroll down here, we see Tester McTesterson has actually been added. So, okay, so far so good. Now, when we add a thing, we also want to delete what's already in all of these boxes. So let's do that real quick. And we could just come up here where we cleared the entry boxes in this function. We could copy that there. Okay, so that looks good. Now we also want to sort of refresh the tree view so that it shows that that record is in there. You know, we don't want to close the program and restart it every time we add a new record. So how can we do that? Well, first, let's clear the tree view table. And we can do that. Let's go my underscore tree dot delete. And we can go my underscore tree dot get underscore children. And we need to splat this out, sort of unpack it. So what this will do is, so this will sort of get the number of rows, row one, row two, row three, and then this will sort of delete each of them. Now this is just gonna give us a big long list of one, two, three, four, five, seven, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, however many there are. We can unpack those and do them one at a time by using this, uh, I don't know what you call it, unpack, star, some programming language is called a splat, whatever. We can just put a little star in front of it and that should do the trick. So let's save this and run it just to make sure that worked. So I'm just gonna go uh, one, two, uh, 33, four, five, six, seven. Add a record, boom, it deletes everything on there. So, okay, that looked good. Now let's run this guy again really quick just to make sure that record got saved. And there it is, one, two, three, four, five, seven. Okay, so it got saved. We're deleting everything in the tree view. Now we just need to requery the database. And we can do that really easily just by, well, if we come down here, remember when the program starts, we query the database. So let's just call that function again, right here in our add record thing underneath here. And that should work. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this, run it one more time to make sure all of that worked. So let's come over here, scroll down. So let's go uh, Mary Testerson. Let's give her an ID of 34. Her address is at 12 Mary Lane in Maryville, Massachusetts, 78782, I don't know, whatever. So now let's add this record. When we click this button, hopefully all of these boxes will be cleared. Hopefully this will be deleted and sort of refreshed without us even hardly seeing it. And this Mary Testerson record will be added here at the bottom. So here we go, three, two, one, click. All right, those have all been deleted. If we scroll down, boom, there's Mary Testerson and Mary Lane, Maryville, Massachusetts, and we're good to go. So that's how you add a record to the database with our tree base. That's how you sort of refresh it after you've added it, and uh, not too bad. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codeme.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. They pay just $49 taxes, all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Doing over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from CodeMe.com and I'll see you in the next video.